What's up guys, it is Monk here and today I got you guys another tutorial. Today we will be teaching you how to make really nice looking text. Um, basically just all in Photoshop. I mean, you, when you render the text it might not look so good but that doesn't matter. You don't need a good Lightroom to make text look nice. You can do mostly all your effects in Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do today. And also doing that I'm going to give you guys my Lightroom. So I'll put the link in the description for that. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, first I'm going to start off by opening up my Lightroom and showing you guys what it's all about. So basically, I have four soft boxes. Got to zoom out. Um, two on top and two on bottom. It makes it have kind of like the top and bottom edges are glowy and then the middle is just kind of dull. It depends on what kind of material you put on it, but for today, um, I'm just gonna render out some text that doesn't look very nice. I'm just gonna put on a regular kind of minor glossy um, uh, material so you can see how much the effects do on the text when you put it in Photoshop. So what you wanna do, um, if you guys don't really know how to really make text look that nice from the start, I'll, I'll make all the effects on the text and I'll leave it for you to just change it. You can just change it right here instead. I'll do that, but for now I'm just going to make it. So, um, just for now I'm just going to use Agency FB since that text works really well for everything. So, wait for my computer to load it open. It always takes a while to load it for the first time. Alright, so just Agency FB. We'll change it to say... No, new, new. Change it to say Monk. And caps, fill a cap, drop it down. Three or four. Steps up to four. No, I'll put that three. Put the steps up to four. Drag, drop. Radius up to five. I'll do five. Put the steps up one more. Work back a little bit. Move back a little bit, and then just right over there. So then, what I'll do, you guys, is uh, you can just click on this one, Control, click on this one, and you just change the font, and you'll be all set. And don't have to worry about the font because every uh, buddy will have Agency FB because it comes straight with the computer as default. All right, so for today, I am just gonna put on this very crappy booger-looking yellow just to show you how much it doesn't really matter like the way I make my text is like sick <laughs> so I'll just put that on both of them and or maybe actually maybe I should put a black for the back um yeah okay that works also you guys I'm gonna have a bunch of pre-made materials down here this is just a bunch of materials I've made over the course of me using this and I always save it so that's just some Stuff. I mean, these are all for the soft boxes. I wouldn't use those, but you can tell which ones. I mean, these are a little funky, but yeah. All right. So, should you want black? Okay, yeah, I want black. That's okay. We'll figure it out when we get in there. So, yeah. Okay. Um. Now let's. Oh wait, I should make these a little bit fatter. Maybe that's why it looks a little funny. All right. Put. I'm gonna put the radius to about. Oops. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll uh, put the radius out a little bit farther. Alright, 75 works. We'll zoom in like that. This isn't the tutorial yet, guys. I'm just showing you what's in my Lightroom and just I'm making the text right now. Alright, so just call it something. Monk. Um, all these settings in here, I already have presetted for you. Color correction, the field depth. Ambient inclusion and global illumination, so you do not have to mess with any of that. Also, um, so it renders it out with no background. I checked off alpha channel for you guys, and I already have it set up as a PNG because you're mostly going to do pictures out of this. You're not doing intros or anything. So I already got everything set up. You just have to change the file name to what you want to save it as, and then click this button. Ah, uh, this is OK to pop up. It does that. Just click OK and let it make the text so right now um sometimes making this text it takes a little bit you'll see right here it will have to that loading bar right there 
it will load it up all the way up to here and then it will do it again so while we're waiting I will just open up Photoshop and just make my whatever I'm gonna put it on I mean I'm just I'll just make a piece of paper it's going a little slow because I'm rendering and let's just fill it with a color put what color should we put just like a kind of weird tannish color all right that works and maybe I'll put some scan lines on the back if you guys do not know how to make scan lines or you'd like to the, that effect where it has those lines like that I can teach you how to do those too if you want to know or if you already know there are some tutorials out there if you want me to send you a tutorial that someone did or if you want me to go over in one of my tutorials I'd be glad to but that's a very good effect and a lot of people use it and it's not very hard so I'll just put those on for right there sorry if I'm talking like I I don't know why I don't know why I'm talking like that okay so as you can see it does take a little bit of time when rendering the text but it does come out really nice so it's worth it so just let it do its thing yeah I can't talk today and yeah okay let's just we'll just sit here uh, I could cut the video and just wait but I don't feel like it I feel like talking until it's done so yeah oh also some people wonder why I always open up um, Adobe After Effects while I'm doing like my backgrounds or like my speed arts and stuff um for my color corrections, a lot of people like to make their color correction in uh, Photoshop, like putting on like gradient layers and all that. But I don't, I don't like to do that. So I just open up After Effects and I have Magic Bullet Looks in mind. If you guys know what that is, and what what it is, it's just like a color correction studio. Basically, you just open it up and there's, well, there aren't a bunch of color corrections, but I have over 200 color corrections from getting them from friends, from packs, a bunch of different ways and I just use those I just pick one out of my 200 that I have and just whichever one looks nice I usually use it there's an agony one I have that I use on a lot that gives it kind of that 3d look like I did on uh, a background I made for peacock I know it sounds that's a funny name but uh I'll find it right now on this background I did for peacock obviously you see there's a peacock in the background and it's kind of got that like 3d outline look that's just I get that all from putting it into um, After Effects and it gives it a nice like outline look and that's basically what I do when I open up Adobe After Effects if anyone's wondering alright so the text is done and as you can see it's got from my old my, from a blah, from my soft boxes it gives it that outline going along the top and the bottom from the um, soft boxes up top and on bottom and it's just it doesn't look very nice there like if you put that on the background it wouldn't look very nice so that's what I'm gonna show you what I do to make my text look like this that text looked exactly like that before so that's what I'm gonna teach you how to do go from this to that alright so what you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop I already have this you don't have to do this this is just so I have something to work on that makes it stand out more so place down your text. All right. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. All right, put it down. And what you want to do is you want to double click on that layer and go into your blending options. So what I do first is I put on a drop shadow. I put the distance down to zero and the size up to about 20 doesn't matter just around that it's all preference too you can mess around with it and see which way you like it but I put it about 20 and then I put on a outer glow change the blend mode to normal change this color to black and drop down the size to 3 as you can see it gives it kind of like an outline plus a little bit of a um, more of a shadow but it works well with the color it blends in more than putting just a really big drop shadow so then after that, um, I'll go to a color overlay, change the blend mode to overlay, and that you can see it changed the color a bit. Um, I'm just going to put it at kind of like a yellowish orange gold color, kind of like it was before, but it kind of makes it a little bit nicer looking. It still keeps those glowing edges. And... Yep. Yep. 
color. That's a good color. We'll do that. Alright. Once you put on your color overlay, it does not matter which color you pick. You can pick whatever color you want. Just make sure it's on overlay and at 100% because that keeps the other colors maintained as well. Then we go to a gradient overlay. And then you want to change the blend mode to overlay. And some people may like it just like that, but that's not what I do. I change my style to reflective and check off reverse. And then you get that look going on. And some people think these are like go down a little bit too much. They don't like it as much. So you just want to do is just want to drag up the scale. So it's just a little bit darker on the top and bottom instead of like a lot lower. All right, once you do that, you're done in here. You can click OK. And then you want to go up to your tool um, underneath your cursor and pick the elliptical marquee tool right here. And what you want to do is you basically want to make a skinny oval shape that ends up about in the center of it. So start about here and just drag across. Maybe go down a little bit until it's kind of like the center-ish, a little bit higher, but like that, and then let go. It will make the dotted line go around like that. You want to come down um, to your layers and look at the bottom, and you'll see there are five different buttons. You want to go to the one that makes a new layer, which is the second one from the left. Create new layer. And then once you make that layer, you want to right click on this oval, go to fill, double click on color, and change the color to pure white. And then click OK. As you'll see, it will do that. And then you want to hold control and click D as in dog. And it will deselect it. Once you do that, you want to click on that layer so it's highlighted, not so you open up your blending options. And you want to right click and go to create clipping mask. As you'll see, it will put that effect or layer over just that um, layer that's underneath it, which is the text. Once you do that, you want to change that layer from normal to overlay. And as you can see, it would do that, but that's a little bit too bright than what we want. So you just want to drag the opacity down to about 40%. And there you go. You made text. Oh, wait. Okay. All right. Okay, so you're done there. You're done with your text. That's how you. That's how I make my text. That's how I make it look all glossy and nice. It's nothing I do in my Lightroom. Everyone wants my Lightroom because they think that's what I do. But I get all of these from Photoshop, and that's a great thing to learn, and it's a great thing to use for backgrounds and whatever you're trying to use it for. So just a good thing to do once you're done is this layer can always unclip from your text. So just click on it, hold Control, and click on the text. And then hold control again and click the letter G as in group. And that will group the, the things together. You can just name it text, it doesn't matter. Um, just It keeps it all in there. And you can see what you just did to your text. So I'll move this over. And I'll drag in what, we just, uh, what text we just messed with. And you can see a major difference. That's amazing, and that's what I do, and that's how I make my text. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll have the download link to my Lightroom in the description. Download it, use it, use this tutorial. It's a great way to make text. I don't, I haven't seen anybody make text like this. I kind of learned it on my own, screwing around. So yeah, guys, just have fun with it, and hopefully, hopefully this helped. If it did, drop a like. And yeah, guys, I'm out. It's Monk. So.